Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Northeastern Caboose which was built using the BMR or the Brick Model Railroader Premium Instruction Kits and as always I am very happy with the turnout of this build. It is very highly detailed and of course these particular cars were found at the back of trains during the 1940s and 50s and they were mainly used for shelter for the crew of the train and they were also used to keep a lookout for load shifting, damage equipment, cargo, stuff like that. So what's really unique about this is because it was used for shelter of the crew, it looks really good on the outside, but in addition to that, it also has a full interior. So we're gonna take a look at the exterior of the train, go over some of the fine details that this uh, caboose has in it, and then also take a look at the details in the interior as well. Not only that, but we are going to attach a locomotive to it and have it go around the uh, train yard. So starting with the exterior here, you can see a lot of this tubing was used in this model just to create a lot of detail, mainly the yellow tubing on the sides here and also a lot of black tubing, sort of making these railings connecting from the ground level up to the roof and also making this ladder here as well. Also right in behind this little droid arm there, you can see a brake wheel right in there. And there is a entrance into the interior of the train. You can see the chimney right here and sort of the top canopy right here with a couple windows on it. And there is four windows on either side of the caboose. And then we have a little lamp here and that same on the other side. Then we have four steps, two on either side going up to the uh, entrance of the train there or the caboose. And right down on the bottom here, we have the um, sort of trucks, which are very highly detailed. We'll have a look at the bottom of this piece as well. Then we have the uh, sort of arched roof that uh, covers the, the top of the train and that same arched roof here along with the chimney. And then this caboose here has the vent pieces running down the roof just to sort of uh, give it a lot of texture. One thing I do wanna point out with the BMR kits, they do come with these uh, axles and ball bearing wheels and like these things like glide like like crazy they glide so easily this thing just moves around I don't even barely have to push it and it just rolls so if it is sitting on a slanted surface it will roll quite easily also uh, the couplings of the train just use the classic magnet pieces that are right there but let's crack this thing open and have a look at the interior details so essentially the roof has three different panels. There's this top part here, which is not held on by any studs. It just comes right off. It is a separate little build there. You can see four windows and it's got those arch pieces on the top. And this is actually where you stick the lighting kit, the wiring. You can actually buy a lighting kit will, that will uh, light up all the lights throughout this entire uh, caboose and the, and the little lighting kit goes in there. But these panels do come off as well. So I get the camera pointed right down over top here at a bird's eye view. These gray things right in the middle here are actually lockers that are built using different plate pieces and tile pieces to create a couple different sets of lockers. Right here there is a bunk. This is actually the upper bunk. So there's two rows of bunks on either side. So you got the lower bunk, the upper bunk. Right here, there is, this is what we call the washroom. Of course, those doors don't actually open because there's no way you could cram an actual washroom in here. But you have a washroom on either side beside those bunks. Then to the left of the lockers here, there is a chair right here, which is actually the conductor's chair. And this is the conductor's desk right there. Then we have just a little table right here, along with a sink and a coal stove right there. Right in beside or in behind the conductor's chair there is a coal bin which is right here and also a little light right in behind the conductor's chair as well. But you can see they've 
crammed a lot of different details in this condensed little space of the caboose. And I like how they've tiled or this kit has tiled the floor using the brown pieces there to sort of represent a sort of wood or hardwood floor. And just like the instruction manuals say, of course, you can customize the interior of this however you want. Different cabooses uh, all had different interiors and you could change the coal stove or you could change the conductor's chair or the uh, lockers or the bunks or anything uh, to make it maybe a little bit more spacious or roomy in there if you wanted. So you could actually walk a minifig through here because you can see this is only two studs wide and minifigs are wider than two studs. So the playability aspect of it isn't there, but the realism and the detail that went into this is, is definitely on par and, and is absolutely amazing. So when I put the roof panels back on, these ladder pieces or this tubing here actually fits into the studs. So it's perfectly cut like to the decimal of a millimeter, like super perfectly cut so that it goes back on there and those ladder pieces are sort of clipped into place so they don't move around. So we're gonna put that side on and then this side here should go on as well, just like that. And then the main panel that covers up the uh, the center there with the chimney, you'll actually see a little hole right there and that lines up with that little uh, slope piece there. Nothing works good when you're doing it on camera, but it does just clip on very easily there. Uh, most pieces will stay on, but uh, let's put these ones back on and then you just put this canopy right back on top. It just sits loosely there with no uh, bricks keeping it attached. So here is the bottom of the train, very detailed, just like all of the BMR premium instruction kits. These are the uh, trucks and these you get four of the axle and bearing pieces that make this train glide so smoothly. And you actually build these trucks using a lot of different pieces. It's not like they come prefab or anything. There's a lot of pieces that are sort of jammed on there to create the detail, such as the tubing and the minifig hands. Also right here in the center of the caboose, you can see there is uh, a lot of air brake systems in here. So right here we have an air brake reservoir. This is the air brake valve. And then this is the air brake cil cylinder and linkage in the middle. As for the size of the caboose, it's virtually the same as most standard Lego kits. You can see I've paired it up here with the heavy haul train locomotive. And they're essentially the same size. However, the caboose is a little bit wider because we do have these details that come off the side of the caboose. So making it a little bit larger than your standard RC trains. However, they do link up quite nicely and they will go around virtually every track found in an ordinary Lego city. And that's what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna have this new caboose here going around the track in the train yard. So I've put the caboose just in behind the tank car there, which are both being towed by the blue cargo train. A small train, but slowly growing as I complete more of the BMR train kits. You can see the caboose right now is just a plain red. I still have to order some of the uh, decal kits or decal sets from the BMR so that I can customize it. I will be doing that. I just have to gather up all the parts and stickers that I have to order and just do it in one big bulk order from them so that I can complete it properly. And there's actually a lot of different stickers and color combinations in which I could have built this caboose in. Decided to go with the classic red. The next kit that I'm gonna be working on is the hopper car, building it in all black. Should have that completed here in the next few days. And then I will add it to this growing train system. But yeah, that's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my experience here with this caboose kit from the Brick Model Railroader. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. And we'll see you again in the not so distant future. Bye for now and have yourself a great day.